So today I'm going to be doing another DIY charcoal peel off mask and in this one I'm going to be using the Banish Charcoal Clay Mask Powder. It's a powder that you mix into water for a mask. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. By the way, this video is sponsored by Best Fiends, and if you guys don't know, it is truly a highly addictive game that you can download on your phone and play for hours and hours and hours. No exaggeration. If you didn't know, Best Fiends is a free puzzle adventure game where you collect and upgrade characters, which is my favorite part of the whole entire game, by matching same colored objects to defeat the slugs. You guys can download the game for free, and if you download now through my link below, you'll get a free $5 worth of gold and diamonds, which helps you out so much. Make sure to play all of the magical character quests to win exclusive prizes such as gold. And you can also connect the game to Facebook to compete with all your friends through the new leaderboards. I'm on level 107 as you see in the beginning, but it's so addicting. You guys can try and beat me, and if you do, send me a Snapchat. Alright, let's get into the mask. Alright guys, so if you are familiar with my channel, you will know I do a lot of DIY masks and I'm going to go in and do a revisit to the charcoal peel off mask and another way you can make it. So the way we're going to be making it is the traditional non-toxic glue but we're actually going to add instead of the charcoal pills and dumping the activated charcoal in, I have this activated charcoal clay mask from Banish acne scars. I'm just gonna take a scoop and put it into the container and then put a little bit of glue in. I'm just going to mix it with my cuticle pusher and then once you have it mixed like so you're going to take a brush that you don't mind if it gets ruined so just go to the dollar store and get a dollar store brush make sure your hair is tucked back and remember this mask is going to take all of the hair off of your face so be careful as to where you place it and try to avoid the places that have the most hair i know some people have a full face of hair i do too and i actually like the way it makes my skin feel when it takes the hairs out but if you are sensitive or if you have a lot of hair on your face, I would recommend just putting it on your nose, uh, between your brows, and maybe on your chin. By the way, I'm just painting around my piercings. And if there are any parts in your mask that kind of get holes, if you can see some spots are getting like little holes, just go over it and the holes will go away. Eventually it will stop doing the holes once it's dried so far. And you're going to let this dry on your face for 20 minutes I'd say. Alright, I can't talk because it's dry and stiff, but I'm going to start to pull it off my face. I sound ridiculous. If you pull back a little bit on your skin, it's going to start to pull up. wanted to get this off as one piece. Darn. Almost. 
then I'm just going to rub the rest of the mask off with a damp rag. I don't know if you can see, but there are some blackheads in there. Some hair as well, but there are definitely some blackheads, especially around my nose area. I'm gonna go do my makeup and I will be right back. All right, I am back and my makeup is finished and my face feels super smooth. I know you guys hate when I touch my face after I do something, so I'm not gonna touch it. But I would say that this worked just as good as my original blackhead removing mask. If not, it probably has some added benefits because it is also a clay mask from Banish. So I will keep you guys updated on how my skin reacts after the fact on Snapchat and maybe Twitter. I am also a Beauty by Josie K on those as well. Don't forget to check out Best Fiends. I am absolutely addicted and when I say I'm addicted, I really do mean that. It is so much fun and even my boyfriend plays it. So let me know what you guys think of it on Snapchat and I guess I will see you guys in my next video. I love y'all. Bye.